EA Sports coverage of the NFL has come to East Asia in the bustling metropolis that is Tokyo, Japan. Today, after a topsy-turvy opening weekend, it's on to week two, and we've got a good one here, as it'll be the Kansas City Chiefs taking on the Dragons of Tokyo. Two clubs here, each looking to rebound from a week one loss as we're underway on EA Sports. And no run back on the opening kickoff. It'll come out to the 25. Mexico City. Now, this capital city was one of the dark horse candidates, but folks here have shown already that they are football mad. Trust us, you should have seen the scene walking in. And I think this entire country is already getting behind this football team. Here's second and eight. First throw of the game, going to be intercepted. Picked up by the Jerry Sneed. Inside the 20. And they will finally run him down, but not until he brings this one all the way back down inside the 10-yard line. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll run here with Pacheco. And he takes this on to the end zone for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco. He has career touchdown number 78, tying him with both Eddie George and Frank Gifford on the all-time list. And the Chiefs take the early turnover and convert it into an opening touchdown. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now a 7-0 game. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this will be returned from deep in the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And the interception on that opening drive winds up leading to the touchdown, so now it's kind of time to start over. Yeah, it certainly is in his first throw of the game, but I like the way his guys rallied around him. Oftentimes, the quarterback is the leader, right? He tells everyone what to do. In this case, I noticed his linemen around him kind of patting him, saying, let's go, big boy. You're still our leader. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. They'll get that out wide to Waddle. I think defensively you're okay with that. You're in the first quarter. He's going to get some catches, but they rallied to him quickly. And that's what you count on, and I like what you just said. First quarter, can you do it all game long? They catch it, you tackle them, they go down on the spot. Because when you're able to do that and you don't give up big chunks of yardage after the catch, now you put the offense in a position where every series they have to work hard to pick up first downs and you tend to stall them out when you do that. On third down, he'll drop to throw. Work in the middle of the field, he's got a man complete. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. A gain of 26 on the third down conversion. 
That's how you shake off the interception you throw on the opening drive, come back and throw another strike, and gain nice yardage. And I give credit to two people on this one. The man throwing the ball and the person calling the plays. They're not shutting him down early in this game. Justin Reed, the safety, made the tackle. You talk about this Chiefs defense. Now they come into this one down at the 27th position in the league, Charles, against the run. Well, there wasn't anything wrong with them on that play, was there? Able to make a nice stop, held them to no gain. The key to their defense, though, is exactly what the defensive coordinator told you and I. They've got to be consistent. Now he'll look to throw here on second and ten. They'll swing this out wide. Here's Ocho. And he'll get it into enemy territory just across midfield at the 49. That'll give him eight that time. And third and one now. And just in general, Charles, on a play like that, how tough is it for the defense to account for a running back essentially being a receiver downfield? It's very difficult, especially if the running back has skills like a receiver, and you're aware of that before the game even begins. So throughout your practice sessions, you're going to want to be aware of him. Where is he lining up? What can he do? What kind of damage can he do to us downfield? And who can match up with him? without weakening our overall defense. You're exactly right. It's a tough task to match up to him. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Back to throw now on first down. That's to Waddle on the quick slam. He'll go down as a gain of six, and that'll make it second down. We've seen quite a bit of the short passing game here early on first quarter, haven't we? We have, and I think it works a couple of ways for, for this team because, number one, you throw the short game until they stop it. And if they're not going to stop it, you keep throwing it, and occasionally you'll break a tackle and turn into a bigger game. Also, if they start to creep up, start to pressure receivers, now you go over the top, take it deep, and now you get some of those big shots down the field. And a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Frees up your guys elsewhere. This will be play number nine of the drive here as they need four yards on third down. They're going to look to throw. Oh, it's intercepted. A drive killer there. Picked up by Justin Reed. And the Chiefs are going to have the football here at the 135 yard line. The KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. They'll be looking to duplicate that first drive, the one that got them that 7 nothing lead. Of course they would. I mean, look, they're on the road. So getting the 7 nothing lead was huge for them, right? Imagine getting up two touchdowns on the road, taking the crowd out of the game. It'd be ideal. All defenses worry that whenever anyone catches the ball and has a head of steam come out of the backfield, it could turn into a big play with missed tackles or he runs through people. But they were right there waiting, and they stopped him for a minimal game. Now left side, a completion to his tight end. Not able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Now Gregory. Oh, this one complete. It's Rasheed Rice. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. So on the other side of the field now, it's first and 10 as they've got things rolling on this drive. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. But you look at this defense, and they're currently 21st, Charles, in the NFL against the run. One thing you do know, you know they'll be fired up because they're facing a top five rushing attack. And even if they have early success against them, they got to remember they got to sustain it because teams that are top five, they don't stop running the ball if they don't get things done early. Second and 10. And it's straight, it's Pacheco. Works his way inside the 30 on a pickup of four. And they got to get to the 23 here on third. Quick slant to Hamler. And he will have a Chiefs first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now Gregory to 
to throw. Toward the end zone, but that's going to wind up incomplete. Just looking at it from a defensive perspective, when you break the huddle in the red zone, tight end is one of the guys you've got a key on because quarterbacks want the ball in their hands fast in this position, and they want to get it to someone. And in this case, he had the play. They just didn't complete it. After the incompletion, here's second and 10 from the 20. Gregory will look to throw it. Rush coming, and he's taken down. Ninth play of the drive now on third and a country mile. Back to throw. Gregory. This pass caught. It's Woods. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. No signs of the field goal unit. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll run for it with Pacheco. And he will take it on in for a Chiefs touchdown. Isaiah Pacheco with his fourth rushing touchdown on the year. And the Chiefs' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Extra point by McPherson, up and good, and it's now 14 to nothing. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And it's been a miserable start for them offensively. Obviously, two drives, two interceptions. And this is where you have to know your quarterback and know how you actually have to reach him. Do you do it with a little bit of humor? Maybe you break the ice a little bit like, hey, didn't we practice in that color jersey all week, not the one that you're throwing it to? Or maybe you have to be stern with him. But whatever it's going to take to get the message, it has to be done. He's putting the game in jeopardy. So now they have to contend with second and 13 after the first down run goes backwards. The play action fake. They'll look to throw. This will be good. It's Waddle. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 22 yards there, a first down. Well, these guys have definitely been outplayed in the first half. But I like their countenance. I like the way that they haven't panicked out there, the way they're carrying themselves. They're starting to move the ball. And what you have to do, maintain your poise and start to put together some drives. Moore, the motion man right. Here's a fake on the jet sweep, and instead a give up the middle. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. I have a feeling they'll stay committed to running the football, especially on the early downs. They just haven't had a whole lot of success just yet. After the loss, they'll come up second and 13. They'll look to throw here. And this will be well too low for him to bring in. It's incomplete. Some of the fans here don't seem too happy about what we've seen in this first half. No, not at all. And I understand why they look lethargic, out of sync, and it shows on the scoreboard. This cannot be happening. This offense on third down today, they've been okay. Two for three thus far. This is going to be third and 13. Let's get two. 
someone moved. Flag is out. That's going to be five yards. And that'll drive coaches crazy. You work all week on dealing with loud crowds, on dealing with motion, and then you have a guy jump. So the false start certainly doesn't help matters as they'll try again now. Third and long. Now back to throw. And he's going to be intercepted for the third time thus far. And the Chiefs are going to take possession here at their own 47-yard line. Good starting field position for them as they come up first and 10 on their side of midfield at the 47. And here's a quick throw to Hamler on the edge. It'll be a gain of five, and that's going to bring up second down. And when you're playing a quarterback with some experience and some moxie, you enter the danger zone when you decide to blitz him because if he's able to diagnose as he did on that play, he can hurt you downfield. He reads defenses so well, doesn't he? He really does, and the best part about that play for him that was his primary target. I don't think so either. I think he had the read, figured out where the blitz was coming from, and went to a secondary target for a really nice game. And the tight end is certainly a position built to move the chains because they can control space underneath. If they've got good hands, then of course they're a dynamic target. But one other thing is they're right in the sight lines of a quarterback on just about every play. And that makes it easier for the quarterback to pick him out and deliver. They fake the give. Now Mahomes. And just not enough on the throw there. Down around his feet and incomplete. careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. Here's second and ten. Off play action. Gregory. This pass caught by Hamlet and brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Third catch of this first half for him, and this one is a first down. They'll look to throw again. And that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. Well, he certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. A quick throw caught by Rice. That helps the completion percentage, but not much else, and now it's third and ten. Back to throw again. see so far out of this defense because they've been showing their best coverages on third down. So far, only allowed one conversion on a handful of attempts. One area of their game plan that they've executed to perfection. This offense converted once on fourth down earlier. Now they're out there again to try once more. They're able to find the open man. That's complete. And they've got it inside the 10 at the 8. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup through the air on fourth down to bring up first and goal. Stick with the passing game as he looks to throw to the goal line, but it's incomplete. 
Yes, sir. How about an out of boy there on first down? Got his hand in and knocked it away. Nothing on first down, so the ball remains at the eight yard line. Second and goal. Again, he'll drop the throw. Toward the pylon, but it's incomplete. All right, Captain. It's batting down the hatches time defensively. Dodge two pass attempts to the end zone. Not what you think they're trying to dial up there. Well, knowing them and knowing what we've just seen, I think they're throwing it again, don't you? I think you have to. I think in this situation, you kind of run out of your running plays. Fire another one into the end zone. Meanwhile, on third down, they take a shot at the end zone, but it's incomplete. That was a touchdown if he could have hung on. Instead, it was a well-timed collision to jar that one free. The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. And oh, it'll be intercepted. Picked off by Kelvin Joseph. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays. Oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And he'll find the open man. It's DJ Moore. A reminder coming up at halftime. We'll head to Orlando. Standing by there, Jonathan Coachman. He'll have stats and scores from around the NFL in this second week of the regular season. Now on first down, he'll drop to throw it. And he's going to hook up with his big time. And he'll work it across midfield inside the 45. First down now, but that clock rolling. Now they'll change things around before the snap. Now HN on first and ten. And he works his way forward to pick up four yards there. Second down. Now they got to get to the line quickly. Second and six. And it's a short one here, complete to the tight end. It'll be a gain of just a yard, and now third down and six to go. As a defense, you're more balanced when you're in zone coverage because you're able to keep your eyes on the quarterback and see the play develop in front of you. They're able to keep the quick pass in front of them and stop it right at the line of scrimmage. On third down, he'll drop to throw. And that is incomplete. Well, the coverage we just saw break out on third down. Dime defense, blanketing the field with extra defensive backs and speed. Unable to find an open hole to complete that pass. They'll break the huddle here and go for it. This is fourth down. They'll set up a throw. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. And the Chiefs are going to take over here up near the 40. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. And with decent starting field position, there may be only a couple completions away from field goal range. He'll go up top here for Hamler. And this one is incomplete. And 
no apologies to Dylan Thomas. Apparently, they're not going to go gently into the half. They're still out there firing haymakers. They took a chance on a deep ball there, but it winds up incomplete. On second and ten, Gregory. And that is incomplete. Seven seconds remaining. They have to like what they've done defensively here at the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up a third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. He's going to swing this deep downfield. And that will be incomplete. They weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. Certainly no lack of aggressiveness here. They were hoping for the home run play to get them six points. They're hoping for a catch, maybe a call, but they figure they can at least get into field goal range with a completion. The final shot before break. Gregory airing it out deep for Woods. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. A two-touchdown game, 14-0 the score as we get rolling again here in this second half. From the end zone comes Chris Claybrooks to return. And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Costs him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. On first down, Gregory. He'll get this complete to Kadarius Tony. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. Throwing again on second down, Gregory. And his throw here is incomplete. This defense can use some more of these types of plays. How about him reading it, driving on the football, and he's right there for the pass breakup. They come up now third and five following the incomplete pass. Operating from the gun, Gregory. He's got his man, that's Woods, on the out route. And it's not going to be enough here. A gain of four, about two feet short of the marker. Fourth down. They'll try and run for it. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Backed up where they were on this side of the field, that was a gutsy call. A gutsy call that never should have happened. Not so much them going for it. That's their decision. But where's the defensive front? Where's the leverage? Where's the little man wins? Where's getting into the offensive backfield and spilling the play? How did they permit them to pick up a first down in that situation? From just shy of midfield, Gregory. Right back to Tony. He's got another one. Yeah, he'll be out just a yard or two shy of the 30. Back-to-back -back receptions for him, and it's another first down. Looking to throw. Gregory. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. This has certainly been a physical game so far. Limited scoring opportunities for both sides. And there's another chance that goes unfulfilled. To throw once more on second and ten. Gregory. That'll be caught. It's Tony. Touchdown. 
Kadarius Tony, his first touchdown here of the new campaign. And the Chiefs have moved out in front by three touchdowns. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And it's now 21 to nothing. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And no thought to bring this one out. He'll just go down to a knee, and he'll take over at the 25. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And they've sort of lost their way, partner. How do they recalibrate and get this proverbial train back on track? Well, this is where leadership really comes into play. How's the head coach handling it? The offensive coordinator? Sometimes they just make a joke. All right, guys, had your fun? All right, throw it out the window. Yeah, let's get back on track here. And sometimes that'll work just fine. I guess it's time now to lean on that leadership. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Looking to throw. Oh, and that is incomplete. I know conventional wisdom says, hey, don't get it all back in one play. But sometimes you go ahead and try to. They tried to get it all back on that one. Weren't able to do so. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. He'll look to throw. And oh my goodness, here's a fifth interception. And he will return this one to the 30-yard line. So, first and ten, and if they score on this drive, might have to start digging in our second half blowout material. Now Gregory. And his throw is incomplete. But defensively, you're over there trying to catch your breath and try not to show the offense that you're a little bit fatigued. You're right back out there after the turnover. Now they've got to work towards getting another couple of stops and forcing them into at least a long field goal situation. Throwing again on second and ten. Gregory. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Tight end has become a bigger and bigger part of the passing game in the NFL. But if you drop the football, that position can get swapped out with a you know, wide receiver in that spot, a running back in that spot. There are other ways they can go if you're not going to catch the ball. And that's not just his first drop, his second drop of the game. And it is as they work it inside the 10 to the 7. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up a first and goal. Quick slant to handle. And he's brought down right at the 5-yard line. Give him two on the play. What terrifies defense is when they see slant routes thrown is that the receiver is on the move, and oftentimes he catches it and gets upfield. That's a really nice job rallying to him and stopping him for a minimal game. Dancing to his left. Incomplete. Well, the best don't mind making tough throws, but that was a real difficult one right there. Out of the pocket, trying to beat double coverage. More times than not, that's going to end up as an incomplete pass, if not worse. Now they'd really like to make the short field pay off. We'll see if they can, but this is third and goal. They'll try and run with Pacheco, and they'll be driven back here, losing yardage to the 10-yard line. 
The offense stays out there. A big challenge here from this far back, but they're going for it on fourth and goal. Now Gregory to throw. That is caught by Rice for a Chiefs touchdown. Ten yards on the touchdown pass. And the Chiefs take advantage of the field position on the turnover to cash in for six. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And that makes the score 28 to nothing. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. But well, we haven't exactly been treated to a nail-biter in this one, CD, and if they cannot score here, this one's pretty much all but over. Are you saying that you feel like people are starting to think about getting out of here and maybe beating the traffic? <laughs> to get... And now here is another interception. And a return across midfield and a 46-yard line. On first and ten, here's Pacheco. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. What a way to start a drive. An excellent run, a tone setter, and now, if you want to take a shot on second down and go play action and make it look like the same exact play and throw it over the top, you can do so because you've established the run in a big way. Let's go, Two yards to go, second down. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Give him 15 yards on that one. Kansas City has a first down. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. Channing Tindall is there for the tackle. It went right back to him, but he pretty much had nowhere to go on that play. Yeah, the previous carry looked pretty good. That one, maybe he was a little tired. I don't know. Yeah, maybe he should have tapped out and had a second back come in and maybe make that run. Who knows? Over the middle complete. That's Rice. And he gets it inside the 10 to the 9. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. And remember, this drive started off following the turnover. And they've taken no time working their way down the short field. A nice connection there. And now they're looking at a first and goal. Eluding the pressure right. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Uh, you got a young quarterback, you know, maybe that's just an example of a growing pain for him. I think you're right about that because when the game starts to move fast and it moves quickly on him, a lot of times they fall back on what they know best, their arm. He's, he's slinging it on this one. Under a heavy rush and down he goes. Third and goal as they look to pour some more salt in the wound. Now whistles come in. We're going to get a timeout here by the offense. And with that, they're down to one remaining here in the second half. It's all about teamwork. Third and goal, and still a long way from the end zone. Here's Pacheco headed right. Call it no gain on the play, so no help there. And now fourth and goal. So with a fourth and goal looming, we hit the end of three quarters of play. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now here on EA Sports.
A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trail big here to begin quarter number four. And I guess not content to get another three here late. They'll try to add six more as they go on fourth and goal. Gregory will look to throw it. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. They can't hook up here on the fourth down pass attempt, and as a result, possession switches hands. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. So they'll accept that penalty, and that'll, of course, move the football up the field. They'll look to throw here on first down. And he is going to lose yardage here. That one unable to develop, never got going. A loss of a couple at its second down. Heck of a play there to get to him quickly and get him down for a loss. I think they did a really nice job getting ready for this game, scouting, watching film, and understanding defensively what the play design was. Here we go on second and 12. And this one is going to be off the mark, too far out in front. And that's another play that's painted the picture of this game overall. It's been a blowout. It's been continually fueled by big turnovers and stops for one side and an inability to advance the ball from the other. Out of the gun now on third down. He's got a man complete. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45-yard line. Back to throw now on first down. That one tipped, and it's incomplete. What good hands there defensively. That's second down. But we've talked about it, CD, but it bears repeating. They are struggling to throw the football. All the interceptions and more incompletions. It just doesn't look like things are in sync out there. I would agree with that, and it's not a good day when you feel like an incomplete pass is almost a win for you because it wasn't intercepted. And I think the receivers now, when they're running their routes, this is caught inside the 15. Touchdown. He's got it to bring it back to 28-7 now. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. Clay Brooks going to bring this one out. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Chiefs offense about set to begin this drive. But well, the win for them at this point seems pretty assured. I mean, still a decent amount of time left here in the fourth quarter, Charles, but you got the football, you're up three scores. They have to be feeling really good about where they're at. I love your observation skill, partner, because I think you saw them charge out to the field, fired up about another chance to get into the end zone. Looks to me like this is going to be to push any on the opposing sideline, and they want to do it with some gusto, too. It's a gain of 34. Are things looking much rosier for them here in week two. They work with the lead as they've got it first and 10. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll bring up a second and nine. Brandon, I've got to think this offensive line has got some smiles on its faces, and, and I know it sounds crazy, but they practiced for this back in training camp. They knew they'd be in situations where it'd be extra defenders in the box coming after them, trying to keep them from locking down a game. 
Right now, they want to show the world they're up to the challenge. The Chiefs on third down. Not so hot. Two for nine to this point. This is third and seven. Blitz coming and down he goes. Now here's a timeout coming on the defensive side of the ball. It's just their first. They'll be down to two remaining as we step aside here in the fourth quarter. And with things looking pretty good on the scoreboard, they're going to keep the offense out there and go for it here on fourth. Back to throw. Gregory. And it's going to be batted down. It will go the other way with a football. The Chiefs tried it, but they're turned away on fourth down. And the ball will go over on downs on the short side of the field. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. This will be caught. It's one. Dragons have got it back to a two-score game here in the fourth. Groupie able to add the PAT, and that cuts the lead to 28-14. Two scores down, two timeouts at their disposal. This is a critical onside kick. And the Chiefs are going to make the recovery. Well, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And I know we've brought analytics into the game, and someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93%. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And he'll Great get timing. this back to the 32-yard line. He can catch. That's why he's my favorite player. Yeah, we got it. Right out of the offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. Well, partner, you know, coaches always say that every play is designed to score a touchdown. Sometimes that's not really true, but last drive, that was the case. One play to get into the end zone, and now they'll try to duplicate that success here. And it's rare for those moments to happen. Incredible when they do. And you saw the celebration. Pure joy for that one. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. We can do this, old friends. Put six on the floor, fellas. Now they'll throw here out of the gun. He finds his man complete. It's Davidson. Now hold everything here. We're going to get a timeout by the offense. That's going to leave him with just one remaining here in this fourth quarter. Back-to-back -back good plays have them on the move on first down. They'll look to throw here. And that's going to be incomplete. And they're at the point of the ball game now where they've got to take some chances. They've got to put the ball in the air and just see what happens. But this defense knows that all too well. Now it's second and ten. Back to throw again. Throw caught by Ochoa. And he'll be brought down with a first down as the tackle's made at the Chiefs' 17-yard line. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Throw right side, going to be caught here by Waddle. And he's got this inside the 10 to the 9 before he's out of bounds. Hey, 
They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of until they stop him, why not go back to him? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. Again, he'll drop the throw. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. A misconnection there. He's hit on just 50% of his passes thus far. That's not where you want to be. Now you see the evolution of the game. You go back to the quarterbacks of old, 50% would be terrific because they threw the ball downfield almost every time they threw it. Now with the short passing game, you should be above 60% just to be in the average range. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Well, it's been a tough go for him. These guys have been driving down the field, but defensively, once they got their backs to the goal line, turned up the pressure, that's going to lead to a fourth down. Well played. Another big play in a game that's had plenty of them. Fourth and two. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. A hit as he throws, and this is going to be incomplete. KC offense out of the huddle, ready for their next drive. And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off. And there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. And that's good for a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll leave them with a second and just a few inches left. Pacheco gets it up the go. And he will have a Chiefs first down. And that's the one that should seal the victory. 53 yards rushing for him now on what was his 10th carry of the ball game. I have to chuckle to myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. We've got to control this thing. Get him behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. A big game there. And that should certainly be enough to put this one in the win column. These guys are running offense like you drive. The pedal is down. Stomp down. How about that? Back-to-back -back completions. They are rolling. So much for being conservative and running that football. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. Nice progress down the field. was halted by that incompletion. They could try for some safe yards here to get things moving again or keep throwing it and pushing it downfield to try and pick up bigger yardage. A throw out wide to Woods, complete. Look at the big fella go. And all the way in for a Kansas City touchdown. Gelati Woods, 53 yards. And the Chiefs have pretty well put it away here in the fourth quarter. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And the lead now to three touchdowns at 21. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one, as he's tackled it to 15. In this position, trying to get back into the game, teams are looking for a spark from their special teams. That's not what they got, though. They got a setback, and they have a long field to cover. They want to try and put points on the board. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. Where we stand right now in the fourth quarter, this one pretty much out of reach. And, Charles, I know they're going to be disappointed about several things with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers you would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're yeah, absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. That one covers 29 yards, first down. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. 
What we just saw there, that's really been a common theme all afternoon. A lot of pressure. That forced the errant pass. He's been under duress this entire afternoon. He just had to unload that when he's fortunate it was just incomplete and not intercepted. And he'll be taken down here, and that is how this one is going to come to an end. So this one in the win column for Kansas City. And they were buoyed, Charles, by a big second half that put this one on ice. So you get the sense that whatever was said at halftime obviously hit home. I think it's a little bit more than that, though. Obviously, there are words that are said, and hey, come on, guys, we have to play better. But sometimes it's just sharpening your execution, sharpening your focus, and maybe doing the things you practiced all week without 